3DO. 3DO? What What else did they make? I mean, I know that sounds familiar, but... I don't know, man. Huck yourself. Yeah, go huck yourself. Anyway... <laughs> huck yourself? Welcome, uh, everyone. I'm Insetic. With me is Blank Tester again, and this time... We are taking on Johnny Mosley Mad Tricks for the PlayStation 2. Uh, it's, it's a game that happened. Well, it's an extreme sports game, and I saw it at the game store and I bought it because its price tag was only $4. And not just that, behind the price tag was about four other price tags. And from what I could tell, the uh, game store tried to sell it for 13 bucks. No one would buy it. They marked it down to eight bucks. No one would buy it. They marked it down to, to, five, to bucks. five bucks, which, you know, Splashdown so far before this game was the cheapest game I'd bought, and that was $4.99. Um, and, you know, usually price is a good indicator of quality, you know, uh, in a game. In older games, yeah. Yeah, in older games. Also, at the uh, start of the game, at, of this game, you have three characters, and Johnny Mosley is better at everything. Like, look at his stats. Five, 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 five. This girl, nothing but cuts to it. And this black dude, nothing, nothing but, but cuts. cuts. To it. So, uh. Apparently, yeah. they're real people, I think. Or at least some of them are. Some okay, of them are some, fake. Some of them are real people. But anyway, to continue my story, couldn't sell this game at five bucks, so they marked it down to three ninety nine, and that's when I saw it. Went, wow! I've never seen a game this cheap. Uh, I mean, PS two. What a steal! What a st what a steal! And so I bought it, and um, I am con through the course of doing all these LPs. I am consistently amazed at how games can continue to be worse and th more disappointing than anything before it like i thought i thought i'd seen the worst in like tricking with freak style you know with how slow <laughs> those took you know looking back i saw him playing this and then uh i looked back on freak, freak styles videos and man that that game was smooth compared to this yeah I thought, but, oh yeah, and these graphics, they don't get any better than this. I thought, Look at how close that background is. Yeah. I thought I'd seen the worst graphics with, I don't know, Dave Mira 2. Uh, you know, that was pretty cashed in. This is even more cashed in. And, Yahoo! Yeah, and, uh, a sign of the times. Yeah, literally a sign of the times. Oh, God. Yeah, so this is San Francisco, apparently got snowed in. San Francisco got snowed in, and so we're gonna go down it, pulling, you know, mad tricks, and trying to beat these very, very specific, um, metal, metal scores. Metal scores, yeah. Like, I need to get 219,262 points or more. To get a and you guys are about to be floored by the in in this game's yeah. incredible. So this game is clunkier than Splashdown, and I start drifting to the right like immediately. And, I mean, sure, technically everything's there. You know, shoulder buttons are tricks. You uh, can spin or flip or do like rodeos and misties beforehand. It's got multipliers like that was a two times thing multiplier, and you mash triangle to land on rails, and the game will pretty much like the newest SSX warp you sideways to get you on a rail. Um, yeah, but the newest SSX made it work because the game itself was kind of fun. Yeah, you. Each character has a special trick, which you do by collecting, I'm not cheating you, a Mosley cookie. Which is what that weird little thing was. Which is what that weird thing little was. And then you have to go off a ramp and just do a Misty or a Rodeo. Like, just hold a diagonal on the D-pad. That's it. Um, so I think I think you should pa we should pause our commentary for a second so they can hear you do a sick trick and hear this, this narrator guy try to describe your trick and hear how... It's just so bad it sounds. Not that. that was me crashing to show off. Like when, if you crash, you just start bouncing everywhere. But yeah, we'll pause a bit. Here, see listen if the to this. Got some. One eighty with a sweet indie. Sweet one eighty. Like, like he sounds kind of uh, so stilted. Interested or not? Especially when he goes sexational, which yes, that is like what he says. Pretty much what he says. But wow. 
so I, I mean probably not but so yeah this is a video game yes. wherein this is the kind of thing you, you might imagine uh, a TV show wanting to show that the character is really interested in video games and he's sitting there holding an Xbox controller um, that's supposedly plugged into a PS2 and this is on screen. And he's like, yeah, I just got to level three! And you're like, yup, he's playing the video game. <laughs> the video game's all right. Yeah. Uh, it's some quality fun, but... So this game came out in 2001, same year as SSX Tricky, which has which has done literally everything better than this game. <laughs> like uh, everything, it's just it makes me want to go play SSX Tricky again. Everything's so smooth in that game. Everything you do makes sense. You know, you know when you're gonna get a certain amount of points. Like in this game, I I swear to God, I never know how many points I'm gonna get for something I do because it seems to just change. Like, every single time. There's oh, no yeah. logic, really. There's really not much logic. Uh, two things to mention. Uh, you're grinding on this rail, and you're going 70 miles an hour on the rail. I don't believe that for a second. Yeah, you're, uh, uh you go... Speak supposedly 70 miles an hour. Yeah, let's talk about speed, alright? Uh, apparently I go 50 miles an hour despite looking like I may be going 10. Maybe. But then you get on a rail and you just start flying forward. And you'll see, and the audience will see in later videos, if you get on a rail, even if it's going uphill, you'll just get boosted along it. Like, really? So Yeah, so much faster. So they didn't even bother trying to figure out gravity. It, it's literally just like... Actually, uh, I should. Thing actually, now that I think about it, there is no gravity in this game, and you can see that yeah. when you there's a part where you're dropping later, yeah. and you just drop so slowly. Yeah, you, you, like in this level, you guys will see. We'll, we'll like, point it out. Yeah, at the end, like you sometimes it, you don't seem to fall at a normal speed, but yeah, this game is like pretty much a combination of like all the bad parts of other games, because like that's a Mosley cookie right there. Yeah, which by the way, I still think looks like the shield weapon from uh, El Shaddai. Uh, Ascension of Metatron. Yeah. But, yeah, um, along with what I stated before, like, the tricks take a lot longer than you think, like, the grabs take a lot more time than you think they do to actually do, and then, uh, especially it reminds me of Jet X 2 how, like, I have to micromanage the turns. Like, you'll see me turn, and then the camera will kind of, like, not follow me very well, and then, like, I'll start going back in the direction I was going. Yeah. Like, you don't keep turning, but... The fuck was that? I mean, especially on here, like, look at how slowly I'm falling. And this is the, the Golden Gate Bridge, and notice how there's literally no draw distance um, off to the sides. Yeah, and, just none. And along with the like Jet X2O comparisons, I have to do so many more tricks than I feel Look at like. this, hold on, check this out. Look at how slowly he's falling. What? And then look at how many points I got. A ridiculous amount like, of points. Like, almost doubled the amount of points I got. And you're, like, right at the end to get this. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy oh, check this out, check this out. I literally, like, <laughs> go, go sideways. You go not, gliding but, over right. there. What I was saying about Jet X2O, this first level I can get gold pretty easily, uh, especially if I do that one tricking line which gives me like 150,000 points. But otherwise, like the golds in this game are really hard to do just because you never really know what you're going to do going off any jump. Like if I if I load a, a a Misty or a Rodeo, sometimes my guy will go off to the side. Like Way off to the way side. off to the side, and other times he'll just jump straight. You know, like any other game where you can preload, spinning and flipping does. But all right, we got new skis, which are such a huge boost to the stats. Look at that! Like original five, 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 five. These like six is minimum six, six, across eight, the board. seven, eight. Do you get those? Do you get to use those skis with everybody, or is it just uh, like, it's Johnny just Mosley? just Johnny Mosley? Okay, that's good. That's good. That way you never have to play as any of the other characters. <laughs> yeah, because. All of them will consistently be worse right. than Johnny Mosley. But along with, uh, so there are, I think, ten levels in the game. I haven't actually really gotten that far into it. I mean, it's, it's you've got your storyline or something. Oh, yeah. And um, then you've got your... Yeah, Wait, I... does this game have a plot? We can make one if you want. Okay, I wanted to make sure there wasn't right. one pre-built so that but, we could make one. But, hold on, so there are five 
uh, slope style levels in the game, which are like which is such a stupid name for it. Which I guess are, I don't know. You 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 do tricks in both types, but there's like slope style and then big mountain levels, and like the big mountain levels are slightly more, I guess, natural. I guess I guess natural and like hilly and Rocks less and like trees. ramps. You know. Yeah, I kind of like, that. kind of like in SSX Three, going from the normal levels to like the back country. I really, really ones. love how every tree is identical. Yeah, like of literally all, of and course. they're not even rotated so, from each other. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to finish what I've been saying. Oh, go for it. Gold medals mm. and the point totals are really hard to get unless you have put way too many hours into this game, like I have, and by way too many, I are, I only mean like five or so. Like, that's you know that's still way, way too many. many. That's still way too it's many. It's more than the developers put in. Yeah, but so um, <laughs> god damn. But you need to do like so many tricks just to get golds and such. Like you need to go off a jump. You need to combine like eight different things. You know, uh, again going back to SSX Tricky. I, would you say I am pretty good at SSX Tricky? Yeah, I can. You know, even I'm. I don't really want to, like, gloat, but I'm good enough to, you know, basically get a gold with whatever character using whatever board. Um, you know, but, we haven't mentioned Tinker in a while, but Tinker is, is uh, pretty proud of his SSX tricky skills. Yeah. He frequently challenges Alan and, uh, and Insetic, and they're both, they're all three so much better than I am at it. Um, but they're all really pretty good. But what I'm, what I'm getting at with that game is that there's like a nice level of difficulty in SSX Tricky where, you know, uh, the early levels, you can get like gold medals on the first jump if you know what you're doing. Yeah. And like the later levels, gold, maybe even silver will be a challenge. Um, the first time you go through them, but, but once you get the hang, but of once it, you get the hang of it, you can more than double the gold medal limits on even like the last level. This game, this game, like some of the levels, I barely get gold. It's you know dumb luck. Yeah, it's basically dumb luck depending on how, how old, generous the game is. How feeling. I'll go off a ramp a certain way, or whether I'll actually. Okay, that's not 14 miles an hour. You're not going 20 miles an hour. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So. Like I said, this game and SSX Tricky both came out in 2001, and so it leaves me to wonder, was SSX Tricky and the original, which came out in 2000 actually, uh, were those ahead of the time, or is this game way behind the time? I think both. I think, I genuinely think that... Um, like, this game is the best example, maybe even better than Razor Free Style Scooter. No, you know what? Razor Free Style Scooter had less thought put into it. Because it only had, like, three levels. Well, no, I would say Razor Free Style Scooter had less branding put into it. Um, but, but this game had less game development put into it. Razor Free Style Scooter tried to make a playable game, and you were able to play that game and not feel like a shithead playing it. But watching this game being played, I feel like a shithead. Like, honestly, I'm, I, I really feel like the next game I do, the next game I do, which I of course don't know. Um, it's way You didn't even know you well. were going to do this one until you just picked it up and said, <laughs> I, I said, you know what, this go. looks shitty enough. Um... Oh so, my god! Check, check these physics out. But, Jesus! Right, whatever game I do next, whatever game I do next, I'm gonna record live com the first time that I play that game. Because Johnny Mosley, I wish I could, because once again. <laughs> <laughs> once again, once again, my complaints really that aren't, really aren't as founded, since you can see me having figured out kind of how the game works. Oh, wow. So there's the uh, combo of the levels. There's every two thirds of your s the goal. Pretty score. much every level has like one massive combo that you kind of need to get. It's so weird. But <laughs> next game I play, I will record the first time I start it up. And, you know, you'll be able to see how tough it is it is to someone who, you know, has hasn't just done it, it up. At all. Hasn't done it at all. Because I could not get past. Oh, here we go. Like, I'm going back up at, again, 70 miles an hour. Um, going back up with ease, gravity doesn't exist. Jesus. Until I, uh, I... <laughs> every foot, every time, Every man. fucking time. But, you know, uh, so, 
Oh Johnny Mosley, you know, I I, pro I guarantee this is probably... I had no idea this game existed until I saw it for $4. You know, sometimes when I see games like this, like I see Dave Mira, you know, or, yeah. or Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, or, or you know, this game, Johnny Mosley's, whatchamacallit, Razzmatazz, <laughs> you know, Raspberry Razzmatazz flavored yeah. air, you know, I... I just I, I want to email them and be like, hey, you remember this? Yeah. You brought this into the world. Why would you do such a thing? You're such a dickhole. Yeah. And oh, you oh, yeah. unlocked. I actually Tanner unlocked Hall. a character, which is still worse than Johnny Mosley. Wow, he's Mosley. worse than. Oh my god. Johnny, Johnny Mosley, you are so full of yourself. Oh, yeah. And... I mean, he was like an Olympic gold medalist or something, but. Still, yeah, but still, like in the Tony Hawk games, you know, there was a reason. There was a to balance. The yeah. other characters. Tony Hawk had Tony Hawk Tony had Hawk. and has enough respect for other skaters that he goes, you know, you guys are good at some things, and I'm I'm good at other. Then things. again, then again, name a professional skier today. You know, snowboarding, you can at least do Sean White. Right. Uh, Johnny Mosley, I bet he still he still skis. I bet sure, he does. Why not? Um. So that's Johnny Mosley, and well, that's part one of Johnny Mosley. I don't think it'll be very long. You know, we'll try to get through this each, as each, fast as you can. <laughs> each uh, level will be a slope style and then a big air, so that I don't have to make ten like five minute videos. Because <laughs> did you notice, like that first track I went down? I mean, Blake Tester commentated. Uh, when he was watching me play that, like, oh my god, how long is this track? And it turned out to just be like five minutes, but... Well, it, it was five minutes, but you were supposedly going at 45 to 50 miles an yeah. hour, which, if you if you work it out, if you if you do the math, that's like f six, four and a half, four and a half, five miles. Uh, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, it's... Your legs would break. You seem to be going, like, you seem to be... Traveling so much ground while traveling so little ground. Right. The numbers yeah. say that you're going really fast, and I don't know. Whatever. So, uh, Fucking whatever. This, this will be the experience of a lifetime, <sighs> and I am hopeful. I am hopeful that no other game can fuck something up any worse than Johnny Mosley pretty much <laughs> fucks everything up, because if that's the case... <laughs> then I don't want to know where the bottom of the barrel will be because I'm pretty sure that I'm never going to reach that. So this is the worst game you've so far. So yes, far? yes, I already know. Absolutely that, worst. Absolutely worst. Um, but, you know, stick with it. You know, <sighs> Stay the course and we'll on, see if we survive. We're going to be on for a ride and see you next time. Johnny Mosley Part 2. Yep. Bye.